They just aren't who we thought they were. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video of Sports Talk Buffalo. The UB Bulls men's basketball team now sits at just 6-6 six and 0-2 six and oh and in conference play after their third straight loss as they just dropped their last game 88-76 to the Akron Zips. The loss to the Akron Zips was the second loss in a row in which the Bulls held at least a double-digit lead in this game. At this point, the Bulls had a 14-point lead against the Akron Zips, and they turn around and lose double digits as they lost last week by 10 points to Miami of Ohio after having a double-digit lead in that game also. Now, to start the season, the Bulls were the MAC favorites to win the entire MAC conference out of all of the coaches simply because of the level of talent that is on this team. And UB was being talked about as a potential at-large bid, giving the MAC a two-bid conference potentially um, heading into the season. And as the season rolls along, it is very clear that this team was vastly, vastly overrated, and they have sunk all the way down to 124th in the net rankings. To start conference play, UB lost to both Miami of Ohio and the Akron Zips. Both teams rank outside of the top 140 in the net rankings, so just two very bad losses for a team that is supposed to be the MAC favorite. It is not a good look. The UB Bulls should realistically be at least, I mean, eight, have at least eight or nine wins, maybe even 10 wins on the season. And the fact that we are staring dead in the face of a 500 basketball team is just absolutely embarrassing if you understand the level of talent that is on this roster. As I say, the Buffalo has a ton of talent on this roster, which includes three of the four highest rated recruits to ever come to UB, Jonathan Williams, Ronaldo Segu, and David Skogman sit one, three, and number four in terms of all-time rated recruits to come to UB, and they are in the starting five for the men's basketball team, and somehow we are sitting at six and six. So what seems to be the problem with this University at Bulls men's basketball team? Well, the first problem is that defensively, the Bulls seem to have very difficult time with their rotations. They either over-rotate and they leave a man wide open for a good open look, or they under-rotate and they let, they let the guy, the ball, the ball handler, an easy lane to get to the hoop and... Neither of those things the Bulls have seemed to be able to correct. They're either over-rotating or under-rotating. And also on defense, the Bulls seem to uh, lack the ability to really defend the pick and roll as we have seen game and game, game in and game out, game after game. They have struggled in stopping that pick and roll. And it, it seems like Teams are starting to pick up on that. Coaches for other teams are starting to pick up on that. And they are taking advantage of UB's lack of being able to defend that. Another major problem for UB is capitalizing on their free throw attempts as Buffalo from the line hasn't shot over 67% from three from the free throw line under Jim Weitzel in his entire career as a UB Bulls head coach. These free points have potentially cost the Bulls three games this season, three close games this season, one against SFA in which they lost by one point. The Bulls shot just 69% from the free throw line. The second one, they lost on a last second shot to St. Bonaventure. They lost by three. They shot just 66% from the free throw line. And the third one, they had a one point loss to Canisius in which they shot just 66% from the free throw line. This is something that needs to change drastically, I think, if the Bulls want to start winning those close games as it is really starting to catch up with them as 
time goes on. And the third thing that I think is wrong with this team is coaching. While I like Jim Weitzel as a coach and as a person, he seems like a fantastic person to have on your staff, a great mentor to a lot of the young guys. I don't believe he is a head, he's not someone who should be a head coach. He is someone that would be an absolutely tremendous assistant coach as he was instrumental in some of the most successful seasons for the University at Buffalo under Nate Oates. However, as the lead guy, he just has not been super successful and his teams have very much underachieved it at the University at Buffalo. And under Jim Weitzel, his teams are seemingly constantly underprepared. And this season, it is just catching up with them game after game as their talent is not pulling them out of these, these underachieving moments in the game, these sloppy moments in the game. Something that it just seems to happen time and time and time again under Jim Weitzel as the head coach. So that in lies the problem. It has got to be a coaching problem as it happens season after season after season that these guys with some of the best talent that UB has ever seen are consistently underperforming. Yet that lays at the co- that lays at the head coach's feet. Overall, honestly, I still think UB has the opportunity if they play to their true potential to be one of the best teams in the Mid-American Conference and to win the Mid-American Conference title. However, they have to go on a big hot streak as the season goes on. They have to give themselves the absolute best opportunity to get to a position in which they have a chance to win that MAC title game and they must clean up these inconsistencies that seemingly happen game after game after game so that they have an opportunity to get back to that MAC title game, and they have to play a full 60-minute game. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Remember, click subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a video. Hit the thumbs up so more people can enjoy this content along with all of the other content that I have on YouTube, guys. Remember, again, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It does wonders for me and this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic week.